financial problems, elder law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is getting the right help for a tax problem. And with us today, in her normal spot, is Jenny Wingle. Hi, Ken. Good Our to be here. tax guru. Yeah, my favorite topic. So this is going to be a big topic for you. But we have other players here to chime in. Yes. And Brian, you're a key player in this because bankruptcy is going to be in play as well. It's, it's good that you gave the whole title, getting the right help for a tax problem. Because if you hadn't, I was going to... I was going to be a little concerned and maybe make some calls to some psychiatrists for you, or did you need to go to the hairdresser and get your hair done? I wasn't sure. And with that, we can move on with the rest of the show. <laughs> Jeffrey Kirschner, tax problems are debilitating to the point of creating a disability, so I have you here. They, they truly are with my client, Social Security Workers' Comp, and they always have tax issues. Even if they're not making money, they have tax issues. So good to be here. And Corey Silverstein, criminal law expert. Sometimes people don't pay their taxes and it's a crime. Pay your taxes Other times, or you're going to people jail. people need the money to pay their taxes and they resort to crime to find the money. So you're an important player here. I, The fact that you called me and Brian players this morning, Ken, it just, it makes my day, man. I'm glad I to hear that. I'm glad to help. It. Is there well, a trip to Vegas coming up here? Uh, next so, week. So oh. let, 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 let's get to it. All right, here's a case study, fictional person. It's Barry. He's an engineer. He works, makes $129,000 a year with wages. He gets a bonus. He's very, he has a very good job. He's very responsible. But Barry had a dream. He always wanted to own his own restaurant. So he opens up, he invests all of his money he has, except for what he had in, in, in 401k into Barry's Corner Bistro. He had a dream. You know, nightmares are dreams, too. Did and he end up on Gordon Ramsay's show, 24 Hours to Hell? I don't know that show. Oh, well. That's it's, new. It's, well, I think it was on last year, too. It restarted this year. They, they go through a restaurant that's struggling. His Barry's dream turned into a nightmare, and he owned it, and it closed within a year. Well, if he puts it in the middle of the block, it can't be a corner yeah. bistro, so that's a problem right there. <laughs> right, this he should true. have been on the corner. You I know, mean, did he, he have, he, like, top-shelf liquor? I mean, what was the problem? He had top-shelf liquor. And he still went out of he business? He had nice decor. Mm -hmm. A restaurant is only as good as your last meal. You open up a nice, beautiful restaurant, you serve two bad meals to the wrong two people, and you get a reputation of well, being a lousy restaurant. It's the that. hardest business but, in the world. It is. In fact, the, the average restaurant closes within a year, and if they... 90, I read a statistic, 90% of all restaurants close within one year. If they make it past the year, 70% will last three to five years. And if they make it past five years, they're likely to make it to 10. But most restaurants close within the first year. Restaurants are all very those statistics, difficult. it's kind of like, instead of calling you Brian, maybe we should call you Brain. I was going to say, Jeff, did you, <laughs> Jeff, did you hear I that? Like Brian wrote a book. Works. Hey, nice going. He's the restaurant <laughs> man. I think no, su no. a successful restaurant tour who stays and, and is able to do well is a supreme manager. I think it is the most difficult business to but run. But if you I will can tell have you this, a I shut down more and still be losing, losing yes, you money. Yes, can. I, mean, I shut down more understand. restaurants. Yeah, you got costs, it, you got employees, you got food, you got rent, right. you got utilities, you got a million costs. 26 years of doing this, bankruptcies have, on restaurants always end up. I've shut down many of them because they don't make money. Okay, so here's the fallout for Barry. Restaurants closed. He owes payroll taxes of $200,000. He also is behind on his income taxes because instead of paying his taxes, he used that money to finance and go into the restaurant business. He owes $40,000 from 14. For 15, he owes $30,000. For 16 and 17, he owes $20,000 in taxes. So he's got a $90,000 tax bill. He has credit card debt of $75,000. All of that went into the business. 
He owes the bank $150,000 on the guarantee. Total debt from the business, $425,000. This is what he has for cash and assets. $10,000 in the bank. He has a 401k, which I'm going to put this in quotes, of $350,000. His house is worth $330,000. He's got a first mortgage of $290,000, second mortgage of thirty. dollars So he's got $10,000 of equity in the house. He's got two cars that are leased. So really, all he has is $10,000 in cash and his 401k. Now, a key point, if you're listening and watching, that I want you to think about. The $350,000 in the 401k is the big problem due to the tax liability. And we're going to talk about that in two different scenarios as we explore the case. So scenario number one that I'm going to flip over to Jenny and to Brian is, let's assume that Barry doesn't have $350,000 in his 401k. He's got $3,500. So the 401k doesn't mean a lot. What is Barry's remedy? And the first thing I want to ask Jenny is, what would the tax guy say? The people that you see on TV that say, we can solve all your tax problems. If you have problems. more than $10,000 worth of tax debt, you need to call us. So if, if we're talking about one of those companies, um, the 1-800 that, that they're not actually attorneys, you will find out, um, even if he still had the $350,000 in the 401k, they would tell him that he should file for an offer and compromise, charge him between $5,000 and $7,500. Number one, he probably doesn't qualify uh, on those on those terms. Well, if he's got three hundred fifty thousand in in his four hundred one k, he for sure wouldn't qualify. Right. right. So they would tell him that he qualifies right off the bat. Um, They're lying to him. Right. And if he does qualify and he comes to see with, meet with me, the first thing I would do is say, okay, you qualified for here, but let's move on to options two, three, and four. Which are what? Well, we would then look to debt settlement, and we would also look to bankruptcy and then budget management as well. Because he, Barry doesn't just have to resolve his tax problem. He's got 150000 that he owes to the bank. He owes $75,000 on the credit cards. He's got $225,000 of other debt that needs to be addressed. Now, Barry's situation... And he's got income taxes and payroll taxes. So and a if mortgage. We, if we, and a, well, yeah, <coughs> I keep hearing that. Right. Let's differentiate the two, two taxes cars, for just payments. a second. Differentiate the two taxes. We We're have coming up to a break, so payroll taxes and income taxes. When we come back from the break, I've got the solutions the for some of it. But we need the distinction between the two, what, the, what one means versus the other. Absolutely. We'll be back after the break. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Fav Gross. You don't need to be broke, and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, Dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Fav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. 
Thav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so we were starting to talk about what the right way of resolving the problem is. Jenny, your point is that the tax settlement firms only think in terms of the taxes. They don't think of the other debt, and they will well, try only... and put you into an offer and compromise when you won't qualify for it because they're out for, to get your money. Yeah. They're not out to solve your problem. In concert with that, that's the only thing that they do. So they're not going to address the other problems. And they don't do what they do very well in the first place, but... I thought the question point, was for Jenny. Point, point taken. But here, here, here's the next question to, to move on. Barry has a payroll tax problem of $200,000, and he also has income taxes that are not owed from 2014 through 2017 of $90,000. What's the difference when you guys analyze things between a payroll tax problem and an income tax problem? What does that mean to you? So when, when someone comes in and meets with me, when I see they owe income taxes and payroll taxes, we have to also look to bankruptcy. But we know bankruptcy is not going to be the full solution because payroll taxes are not dischargeable. What are payroll taxes, Brian? So payroll taxes are obviously the withholding taxes that you owe the government that you've withheld from the so when, employees when you, that work for you. So when you run a business and you're obligated as the employer to you withhold from the employees' checks their Social Security, their federal withholding, their state withholding, you then have to take that money and pay it to the government, and you also have to match their federal FICA and Medicare payments. It, That's payroll taxes that you pay. Otherwise referred to as trust fund taxes. The portion that you withhold from the employee is trust fund, and it's what in bankruptcy? Not dischargeable. Okay. And but I want to I want to point something out about all of this. What about income so, taxes? Well, income taxes are dischargeable, and I'll explain why in a second. But if you only had, if if Barry only had a tax problem, if that was all his issues, if he didn't have credit card debt, a personal two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars owed to the banks and the credit right. card companies. If he didn't have that, then the the the, the biggest solution would be in Jenny's. Court, okay, she would probably be looking to do an offer and compromise if he only had thirty five hundred dollars in his four hundred one k. Now, because he doesn't only have thirty five hundred dollars in his four hundred one k and has three hundred and fifty thousand, we have to. And he has well, two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars with the. He still has thirty five hundred in his four hundred one k. But what would you do with regard to the taxes and the bank debt and? the payroll tax. So for, for me, if he comes in and sits down with me or it's Jenny, we're going to do this analysis and the determination is is, is two pieces. Okay? There's two pieces to this puzzle. Piece number one is... Would you please give me the pieces? A Chapter 7 <laughs> bankruptcy. Before Corey tells me I've gotten older. <laughs> a piece number that, that one just happened? is right. that <laughs> Barry should do a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. The question is... To get is, rid of what? When should Barry do a Chapter 7 okay. bankruptcy? Barry can get rid of at some point, and in this case, the reason I'm saying when is because 2015 income taxes aren't dischargeable yet, but they will be shortly. For an income tax to be dischargeable, it has to be over three years old. It had to have been filed for two years and you couldn't have been assessed in the last eight months. The 2015 income tax return is becomes dischargeable the earliest, April, April 16, 2019. So he has to wait. He might have to wait. So he files a Chapter 7. He gets rid of the 14 taxes, income taxes. He gets the rid 15. of the 15 taxes. He can't get rid of 16 and 17. He gets rid of the bank debt. Or 18. Or he gets rid of the, the gets bank guarantee and debt. the credit cards. Okay, so now he has left 16 and 17 taxes, and he has 200000 in payroll taxes. What do you do for that? Right. So t this is a very uh, typical scenario that Brian and I see. So uh, as Brian said, the timing. In his situation, we would probably file the Chapter 7 first, 
which we just said, get, get rid, rid of, of all of that debt because a seven is much quicker than an offer and compromise. But under these rules, we would then file an offer and compromise for the payroll tax and any income tax that was not dischargeable. Now, it would work in this case because in scenario one, the 401k is only $3,500, right? Right. So what I want to warn people of is whenever you're going to file an offer and compromise, when you sit down with someone, I always ask questions on assets, income, any assets that you may have had over the last three years and got rid of or transferred property out of your name. And I do a whole math formula. If you're sitting in front of someone and they're not doing that and they're just selling you a product, walk out. Because you should be, when you're going to retain somebody to file an offer and compromise, they should be able to say, we're filing an offer, here's how it works, here's the math, and your offer is going to be X. And it's going to work. Well, absolutely. Right. So you, the problem people run into is if you go to one of these companies that just wants to get money on a credit card from you because the person you're talking to is not face-to-face -face and is really a commissioned salesperson, isn't someone that is really a lawyer looking out to help you. In that case, they will tell you anything to get you to file the offer because when you file the offer, then you have euphoria for eight, nine months before IRS comes back and says, we reject it. We don't file offers if we think there's virtually any chance of it being rejected. Right, so what, it, it's a math formula. So you should be able to tell pretty much down to within a couple hundred dollars exactly how much uh, your offer is going to so be. So in Barry's case, if he only owed $3,500, uh, if the 401k had no value, his offer would work, correct? Yeah, his offer would likely be $100, but we would have to look at his net income and his allowable expenses and do the calculation. Anybody that right. says we're settling for 30% is psychic because you have to do the math before so you can figure out the percentage. I have a question for Jenny regarding this entire situation. And this is, you know, this takes it a step back. It's a little bit less of the analysis of the situation. But frequently in, situ in situations like this, you know, I see it over and over again. Everyone just says, well, BK it, BK it, BK it, BK it. And then what I'm hearing you say right now is that's not actually necessarily, that doesn't have to be the first option, does it? Is it, is it, should they, like no. what, what comes first? The analysis of the, of the tax situation or both. do you race to the bankruptcy you attorney? Do both the analysis at the same both. time? You have to do the analysis first before you decide <clears throat> what to do. So occasionally they'll have the option where if they just have tax debt, where I'll say you qualify for a Chapter 7, it would get rid of all of your income tax debt, but you don't want to file a bankruptcy, then we would file the offer. The offer has an upside of some people say it's not a bankruptcy. The downside is you have to stay clean for five years, otherwise the offer is defaulted. All right, we're coming up to a break. When we get back, I want to respond to what the two questions that you just raised, Corey, because there's two key points that go to it. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. You're all set to retire. You have your home paid off, money in the bank, and sound investments. But if you're not careful, all the things that you work so hard for can disappear. At Samasco Financial, we'll help you prevent that. We go beyond ordinary asset management. We'll safeguard everything that you have by creating a plan made specifically for you. How much can you afford to lose? Nothing. Protect the people that you love and the things that you have. Call Samasco Financial today. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Time for announcements. Want to remind our viewers to listen to us for Law & Reality Live on Praise Network, 93.5, 98.3, and 99.9 .9 FM, Tuesdays at 10 a.m., Saturdays, 7 o'clock a.m., then on KISS 105.9, Sundays, 7 o'clock a.m. Also, listen to us with Law & Reality here and now on WMUZ AM 1200, Saturdays at 7 and 2.30 p.m., and WMUZ FM, Saturdays at 11 o'clock p.m. 
Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest. Free $50 Visa gift card, one reality hat, and a copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Just go to the website, pop your name in on the front on the home page, and you're entered. We have a seminar coming up on Wednesday, February 27th, 6 to 7.30 p.m., Debt Relief, Get Out of the Credit Card Trap and Enjoy Life. We're going to talk about all the methods that we use to preserve future income for you and your family so that your money goes into the bank rather than going to pay the credit card debt. Solutions using bankruptcy and also solutions using our system of debt resolution, which is solving uh, credit card debt outside of bankruptcy. Special segment from Jenny Lingo on how to resolve tax problems. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Seminar is always a fun, actually exhilarating event when it comes to all of our unique approaches to getting out of debt. Sign up at thabgross.com, lawnreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Also remember, you can always come into the firm for a free consultation. Debt issues uh, and, and estate planning issues with Brian, tax issues with Jenny, business issues with myself, elder law issues with Pat Samasco, disability issues with Jeffrey Kirshner, criminal issues with Corey Silverstein. All you've got to do is go to the website, request a free consult, or you can call the offices anytime at 888-235-HELP. Be sure and check out our free reports. Go online on thavgross.com or wanreality.com. Our newest report is Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solutions, written by Jenny Lingo and myself. Also, How to Save Your Home from Foreclosure, Business Formations and Loans and Grants for Small Businesses in Michigan and Detroit, and, Re and The Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Thav Gross, Samasco Law, Jeff Kirshner Law, and Law Offices of Corey Silverstein. Now back to the show. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. Nothing provokes panic and fear like the threat of a school shooting. Unfortunately, we've seen a sharp increase in students making copycat threats in order to gain notoriety. I'm Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith. Students, this behavior will not be tolerated. Felony charges will be brought against anyone who threatens the safety of our schools. Parents, please talk to your children and pass along this message. If you threaten our schools, it will cost you your future. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so Corey, you asked a great question because you're, you're kind of observing. When you say BK, 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 that's bankruptcy, that doesn't work in this case for Barry for this reason. Number one, bankruptcy will never discharge payroll taxes. That's that $200,000 liability. Payroll taxes is a trust fund type of a violation. The law does not allow you to discharge it in bankruptcy. Plus, the income taxes that didn't come due more than three years ago, which would be 2016 and 2017, would not be dischargeable in a bankruptcy. No, so in that case, it won't work. That's why you have to combine bankruptcy with Jenny doing an offer and compromise. Right. I was going to say, the, the, the problem is, in this situation, when you go to whatever firm you go to, whether it's a debt settlement company or you go to a tax settlement company or you go to a bankruptcy attorney the problem is is they don't all do all of it we do and so because of that we're, we have the ability to sit down and create a plan to deal with Barry's tax problem Barry's credit card problem so in his, a situation like this Ken there's a mixed bat with what, you, with what your recommendation Ken that you're saying is be the client comes in and sits down with both oh, absolutely. the tax expert 
and the bankruptcy acts were possible even at the same meeting. Oh, that happens we quite often. We, we, right, so we, we, we just pull all the resources time. together to make sure that we decide what the optimal solution and is. And timing-wise as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And timing is critical because you have right. things like you have to get to the right point in time when the income taxes would be dischargeable. All right, now we got about three, four minutes left. Now it gets more complicated. The Barry's 401k is $350,000, okay? Once his 401k is $350,000, I'm going to throw this out, Brian, tell me if I have it right. We can still file the Chapter 7 bankruptcy. 100% correct. And discharge the $150,000 bank debt, the $75,000 of credit card debt. Correct. But the question comes to this. And we discharge the personal liability on the dischargeable taxes. In other words, the 15 and 16 tax returns, or excuse me, the 14 and 15 tax returns, when they reach that discharge date, will also, the personal liability will and go away. And there's nothing for them to lean because there's no equity in any assets. Now the question is, what do we do with the 401k? That becomes a much more difficult problem. Jenny, what I, are your I thoughts? I see this all the time. People have gone to the tax settlement. They have $350,000 in their 401k, and it wasn't even discussed. And they said, but I'm not worried about it because I filed an offer. One of the first things that the offer and compromise looks at is e equity in your home, more than 20%, and then all other assets being your 401k, your IRA, stocks, bonds, investments, life insurance, the cash value. So your value. offer's not going to work. Right. So, so the bottom line when someone has a 401k of 350000 is 350000 minus the taxes that would have to be paid if you pulled all of that money. $110,000. Right. So for, for Barry, it's not likely that an offer is, is going to work because, number one, he's got way too much money in his 401k, the IRS is going to say he can pay it in full. So offer doesn't work. Right. Bankruptcy doesn't discharge the payroll taxes. What do we do to try and save all or a portion of Barry's 401k? This is where it gets to be very difficult and complicated and you need creative solutions. Right. So the first thing Insurance is, and arson. is that... <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're a criminal yeah, defense I, attorney. I, I, it was just my, you, you said, I thought we were back, going creative. <laughs> if Barry goes back and he's working and he's having a good income and he can afford to pay back the full amount over the remaining months in the statute, it might be, might be 10 years, 120 months. Because Barry is making 130, right. 150,000 a year. If possible, then the IRS may allow him to keep the 401k and continue paying the installment agreement. Otherwise, what we might do is pay down part of the tax debt, put the rest on an installment agreement. We become a little bit more reactive. We might, if he needs a new roof, take the money out, put it on the roof of the house. See, there's an old expression in the law that when your position as a lawyer is weak, okay, in def criminal defense law, I think the, is the, the answer is keep talking. Don't stop with the judge. I've seen Corey, when he has nothing else to argue, he argues until the judge is ready, wants to go to lunch, and then he gets to the best possible outcome. I, I just found it ironic, Kevin, that you said there's an old legal expression for, coming from, for, from lawyers. Just... We continue to negotiate, and that's what Jenny is saying. We work with the IRS to save Barry's 401k. That's the plan. You've got to be creative when you're in a tough situation. Have a great week. We'll be back next week with the Law and Reality. Thanks for watching.